So guys, welcome to my first hardline video. What I decided to do is make an overview video of all the operator class primary weapons, or in other words, the assault class. This class has access to assault rifles and carbines, but honestly, I feel like the assault rifles are completely superior to the carbines. And going by an early release of the hardline weapon stats, I don't really see any reason to choose a carbine over a assault rifle. I want to show you guys each weapon in action and talk briefly about how it feels in game in terms of recoil, damage, is it good in close range or long range. I don't want to throw in too many stats because from what I can understand from synthic.com there might be a few mistakes but anyway. First up is the R0933 which is a carbine and can be used on either the criminal or police side. This carbine does 24 upfront damage and going down to around 15 at long range. So it's kind of like how it works in BF4, but it does more close range damage. It has a pretty insane rate of fire of 900, but it's got some big recoil and its first shot multiplayer is huge, which people are complaining about. A lot of weapons in the game are just way too uncontrollable. Even though that's somewhat correct, but one thing I want to point out is by the damn muzzle brake for weapons like this carbine, it actually reduces vertical recoil by 40% and even reduces side to side recoil by about, I think it's about 17%, which I know sounds crazy, but attachments in hardline work completely different to BF4. In fact, they're so different, I'm going to make a video tomorrow about all of the attachments because they're so drastically different from BF4. But in saying that, either stay around the close quarters areas of the maps, don't try and go for those long range kills. For attachments, I love the Cobra Optics, which is pretty much my favourite sight on all the weapons so far, and it's relatively cheap as well. The extended mag attachment increases its round capacity to 35, but please note, for some weird reason, extended mags decreases your on the move minimum spread by 50%. I guess for balancing reasons, but overall, it's a somewhat solid starting weapon for the operator. However, I don't see the point of using it, seeing as there's way, way better weapons like the M16A3, AKM, and the M416. And moving on to a police only weapon, the M16A3, which has made a glorious return in Hardline. We all know about this weapon from BF3, its charm, ease of use, and high offensive capabilities is still a factor here in Hardline. In fact, once you've unlocked this assault rifle, I don't really see a need to use any other weapon on the police side apart from the M416, which is also really goddamn good. It's time to kill in close range and long range is great while still being a lot easier to control than the other weapons. And just to talk about a few stats, its rate of fire is 800, all assault rifles in hardline do 28 close range damage. I have absolutely no idea why it's 28, in fact a lot of weapons in hardline have insane close range damage, which I think is totally wrong because the chances of you thinking you died instantly is more of a factor. Also the empty reload animation is really, really cool. Though this weapon will set you back a hefty price of $37,500, but it's totally worth all that money. I actually grinded out all the attachments for this weapon and after some playing around my favourite setup was Cobra Optics, Extended Mags, Heavy Barrel and the Stubby Grip which actually gives you insane accuracy while standing still while decreasing recoil which may have confused you a bit because in BF4 the Heavy Barrel increases recoil. Well, in Hardline, believe it or not, it actually decreases your vertical and side-to-side -side recoil by 20%. But like I said, I'm going to dedicate a video for attachments, seeing as how drastically they changed compared to BF4. So another powerhouse of a weapon is the AKM Assault Rifle for the criminal side. This thing is completely insane. It has a super quick time to kill at close range. It does more damage to vehicles than other assault rifles. In fact, within about 30 meters, 35 rounds in an air vehicle will roughly do 24 damage or so. And speaking of air vehicles, I was kind of in a 1v1 with this scout heli. We both were trying to take this capture point and it didn't turn out that well for him. So you're probably wondering about damage, well apparently it does 36 close range damage then drops down to 25 and has a rate of fire of 600. So that means in close range if you get a headshot that's 72 damage assuming in hardline the headshot multiplier is the same as in BF4. 
Also, even at long range, if you get two headshots, that can kill your target at pretty much any range. So like I said guys, it's a beast of a gun, however, the downside is it has huge recoil. Apparently it has 0.6 degrees of vertical recoil and has a first shot multiplier of 3. So as for attachments, I found that the muzzle brake and stubby grip works fine, but you may want to throw in the angled foregrip to reduce that first shot multiplier. And moving back over to the police side, we have yet another powerhouse, the M416, which has seen a massive upgrade from BF4. Its rate of fire is 850 and has a damage mole of 2818, and honestly it might even be slightly better than the M16A3. I just want to pop up some stats here from Simtic.com, all credits goes to the respective people. As we can see it has very similar spread and the recoil values of the M16A3, but it has more kick on the right side and its muzzle velocity is lower. On the plus side though, it has a faster rate of fire and has a lower first shot multiplier, so take your pick, but honestly in close range, of course the M416 is going to perform slightly better, though I do prefer the M16A3 because of its less side to side recoil and faster muzzle velocity. You may have noticed in some of the gameplay the barrel of the M416 seems to be long and that's because I have the same attachment setup as I did on the M16A3. After about a day of messing about I still feel like the Cobra Optics, Extended Mags, Heavy Barrel and the Stubby Grip is the best choice for me. But overall the police side have two very solid, extremely viable in any situation assault rifles that begs the question, what the hell is the point of the carbines? I can't answer that because it also confuses me. Honestly, like I said, I don't see any reason to use them. So back to the carbines, we have the SG553. I was actually really looking forward to using this gun, but after playing around with the assault rifles for such a long time and getting used to them, I was pretty disappointed with this weapon. I know it's not meant to match assault rifles, but I just think carbines need a few tweaks here and there. It doesn't have that much recoil, it's rate of fire 750 and has the carbine damage mod of 24 up front then going down to 15, so obviously at long range you're going to need an extra bull or two to kill your target. Its muzzle velocity is also really low for some reason, I did get some nice kills with this weapon but really if nothing changes by the time Hardline is fully released I don't think I'll ever use it again. And staying with the carbines, moving on to the criminal side, we have the AKS-74U, which is a very popular gun in the Battlefield franchise. Honestly, like the SG-553, it doesn't really perform that well. The only reason why I like using it is because it's been a fan favourite for me in the past, but I want to point out, in close range, it kills just as quick as some of the assault rifles. I'm not 100% sure if this is correct, but it has a very weird damage mole of 28 at close range, then going down to 14. So like I said, at close range, you can be as deadly as the M16A3 and M416, but at long range, you need 8 bullets to kill your target, which isn't that great. And to make things even worse, you hit that 14 damage pretty quick at 32 meters, so just keep that in mind, guys. And last but not least, we have the very cool looking G36C, which, thank god it's been improved from its BF4 variant. It has a 750 rate of fire, and it's a carbine, so it does 24 close range damage and 15 at long range. And much like the other carbines, it's not a weapon I like to use that much. Yeah, it looks cool and sounds really awesome when shooting, but apart from that, it didn't really appeal to me that much. For some reason, it has fairly high side-to-side -side recoil, which you can really feel in-game, but if you're a big fan of the G36C, which I know a lot of people out there are, you should love the faster rate of fire it has in Hardline. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Sorry for the late Hardline content, I just wanted to concentrate on actually playing the game first and find out stats and whatnot so I can get a good idea on how things work. Like I said before, I want to do a video on attachments and maybe a review on the new maps and game modes. But make sure to let me know what is your favourite weapon so far in Hardline. Leave your answers down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.